Hello friends, today we will discuss how to designate the pairing member to the rolling member. While we are designating the pairing member to the rolling bonded pairing, the pairing members are the sometimes alpha numeric numbers, sometimes they are numeric numbers. And these numbers are having some digits, and each and every digit having some significant that means that every digit of that number is representing some specification of that particular pairing basically these numbers these bearing numbers was given by a um, bearing manufacturing company sks and these numbers are very popular for defining the bearing number although we are having the IS standard for designating the bearing member of a rolling bonded pair. But in the industry, the SKF bearing numbers are more popular. So we will discuss how the SKF bearing number is designated to a rolling bonded pair. Okay, so first we will discuss the method of designating bearing number to the ball bearings okay so designating designation of rolling contact bearing that means the skf bearing numbers are generally used in industry so we are discussing here the method of designating the skf bearing number to the bearings okay the radial ball bearings are generally a four digit numeric number okay. this bearing which is a uh, ball bearing is designated by four digit numeric number and each and every digit of this number defines something like if you see the if we are considering a number which is a four digit the first digit will define the type of the bearing and this type of the bearing are defined as if the first number of the bearing is six it is a deep groove ball bearing rather than six if the number is two the bearing is a self-aligned ball bearing instead of two if the bearing number is three first digit of the bearing number is three then the bearing will be defined as double row ball bearing if the first digit of the bearing is seven then it means the bearing is relates to the angular contact type bearing okay that the bearing which is used for the thrust loading okay now if we come to the second digit of the bearing number of a four digit bearing number which is used for the radial ball bearings or the ball bearings okay so the second digits define the load capacity or the type of loading the bearing can sustain okay so if the second digit is zero the bearing which we are defining it will be used for extremely light load this extremely light load are the load like uh, where the very 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 small load are there on the bearing like if you see the toys the uh, toys which uh, the children's use Okay, like uh, you have seen some uh, cars in the toys, you have seen some uh, robots in the toys. These uh, toys are having such type of bearing because the loading condition is extremely light. Okay, so these extremely light load bearings are used in those conditions. Then comes to the if first uh, second digit is one that is extra light load series these extra light load series bearings are used where 
लाइक इन डोमेस्टिक एप्लीकेशन डोमेस्टिक एप्लीकेशन लाइक योर मिक्सर एंड ग्राइंडर योर हाउस होल्ड मोटर्स ओके लाइक योर मोटर ऑफ योर गैजेट कूलर इन दो बियरिंग द एक्स्ट्रा लाइट लोड सीरीज बियरिंग आर यूज देन कम टू द लाइट लोड सीरीज दिस लाइट लोड सीरीज स्टार्ट विद द इंडस्ट्रियल बेरिंग ओके सो जर्नली इन द इंडस्ट्रियल एप्लीकेशन वी स्टार्ट द बेरिंग विद सेकेंड डिजिट टू ओके देन द मीडियम लोड सीरीज देन द हैवी लोड द हैवी लोड सीरीज आर जर्नली यूज फॉर हैवी लोडिंग लाइक टर्बाइंस हैवी ड्यूटी पम्प्स एक्सेट्रा okay so these are the designation of second digit of uh, your bearing number if the bearing second digit of the bearing number is zero that is that means the bearing will be used for extremely light load if the second digit of the bearing is uh, one that means it is it will be used for extra light load if second digit of the bearing is two then it will be used for the light load light load if the second digit of the bearing is bearing number is 3 that means it is used for medium duty load and if the second digit of the bearing number is 4 then this bearing should be used will be used for the bearing will be used for heavy duty load okay now very interesting thing la uh, rest with this two numbers because these two number are very important and they defines the shaft diameter for which we are using a bearing okay so there are four standard bearing number which are used for standard diameter of the shaft okay so the last two digit if the last two digit of the bearing number is 00 that means the shaft diameter will be 10 that means this bearing num bearing which is having the last two digit 00 will be used for the 10 mm shaft diameter if the last two digit are 01 that means the shaft this bearing will be used for the 12 mm shaft if last two digit are 02 the bearing will be used for 15 mm shaft and if the last three digit the last two digits of a bearing number is 03 that means it will be used for 17 mm shaft or you can say these last two digits defines the internal diameter of the inner rays of the ball bearing or you can say the shaft diameter now the question arises how many number we have to cram for defining the shaft or the inner diameter of the bearing no you do not need to cram this number only this four number which are standard that is 00 is for 10 mm shaft 01 for 12 mm shaft 02 for 15 mm shaft 03 for 17 mm shaft but if the shaft diameter is higher than that value then the last two digit of the bearing number will be shaft diameter divided by 5 i would like to mention one thing more in case of rolling contact bearing they are never be made tailor made they are made ready made that means the certain standard diameter inner raised diameter bearing are internal diameter of the inner rays bearing are available in the market and we design our shaft as per those standard bearing diameters we never do try to made the tailor made bearing for in case of rolling contact bearing because the manufacturing of a single rolling contact bearing is not possible or it will be not cost worthy so mind it the last two digit in journal if they are not 0 0 0 1 0 2 0 3 
that means last two digit other than these four numbers will represent the shaft diameter and this shaft diameter will be equal to the last two digit of the bearing multiplied by five just we take an example if we are having a bearing number 6220 that means 6220 then what are the specification of the bearing from this bearing number you can specify the complete bearing like this first digit of the bearing number four digit numeric bearing number that means this it is a four digit uh, numeric number that means it is a ball bearing and if first digit is six it means first digit if six that means it is a deep root ball bearing so first digit is six so it is a deep root ball bearing second digit is two so if second digit is two that means it is a light load series bearing and if the last two digit are 20 that means last two digit 20 means the shaft diameter is equal to 100 mm that means the internal diameter of the inner race is equal to 100 mm so in this manner you can define or you can designate the bearing number of a rolling contact bearing of ball bearing this is the method of defining the uh, bearing number to ball bearing okay now if you want to designate the roller bearings which are used for higher load and higher thrust load okay so the designation of roller bearing roller bearings are of two category category first is cylindrical roller and other is taper roller so the cylindrical roller bearing number is a six digit alphanumeric number it will be a six digit alphanumeric number and if the bearing is a cylindrical roller bearing the first three alphanumeric digit of the number the first three alphanumeric digit of a number represent the bearing type and this bearing type will be represented by nu2 <coughs> this nu2 represent that the bearing which of which we are talking about is a cylindrical roller bearing okay the third digit again represent the <coughs> load series that means <coughs> the type of load the bearing can bear that is zero for extremely light load one for extra light two for light load three for medium load and four for heavy load then again the last two digit of the bearing number roller bearing number will again define the same shaft diameter as the ball bearing so the change in the number if we compare it with the ball bearing is only in the first three digit in case of ball bearing the number is of four digit but in case of cylindrical roller bearing the number will be of six digit and first three alphanumeric digit will define the bearing type and you two will define the l uh, your roller bearing uh, that cylindrical roller bearing if the bearing is a taper roller bearing if bearing is a taper roller bearing the num the bearing number it will be of five digit numeric number and first two digit first two digit of this bearing number will define the taper rolling that is by 32 if that means if the first two digit of a five digit number is the 32 that means the bearing relates to taper roller bearing and all other digits will be defined in the similar manner what we defined for the cylindrical roller bearing or the ball bearing like the third last digit will define the type of loading and last two digit will define the shaft diameter if we take the example nu2309 
this nu2309 will define nu2 defines the bearing is a cylindrical roller bearing this 3 defines that the load which the bearing can sustain is a medium load series bear type that means the medium load can be sustained by the bearing and last two digit that is 09 define the shaft diameter that is 09 into 5 is equal to 45 mm so in this manner you can have the bearing number for the rolling contact bearing the for the ball bearing the uh, bearing number will be of four digit for the cylindrical roller bearing the bearing number will be of six digit alphanumeric number for taper roller bearing the bearing number of is of five digit numeric number in which the first two digit will be 32 in case of cylindrical roller bearings <coughs> the first three alphanumeric number will be nu2 okay so in this manner you can designate the bearing number two your rolling contact bearing so thank you for listening patiently